I heard no. that you have a list of the top five players in NBA history. Your list. Mm -hmm. And it omits somebody that, that I mean, it to me, it's blasphemy that he wouldn't be on the list. But I want you to let the world know what your list is of the top five players in NBA history as far as you're concerned. My top five. Yes, sir. My top five. Your top well, five. Well, Stephen, this is an emotional choice. Mm. Okay, so there's no analytics associated okay. with it. And as a matter of fact, probably the last 40 years, the last 50 years are not a part of it. Because mm. I made this decision when I was a teenager. Oh. You see? So, okay. So I was 14, 15, and this is what I saw. And I saw Bill Russell, I saw Wilt Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor. Speak up so they can hear you. Elgin Baylor, mm -hmm. who is my favorite, mm -hmm. Oscar Robertson, and Jerry West. Mm -hmm. That became my top five as a teenager. And they have remained my top five. So even as good as the great ones are, they got to be on the second team. But, but, they got to be on the third but, team. But, but, but That's my Dr. First team. J, Doc Julius Irvin, <laughs> we, we, uh, we, we evolve. We, we grow. We see more evidence. We, we expand our horizons. I mean, first of all, I personally am sick and tired of seeing an NBA silhouette in the form of Jerry West. I believe it should be in the form of MJ, Michael Jordan. Six rings, six tries, unblemished in an NBA Finals. Never even allowed the Finals to get to Game 7. So to me, I start off there, and you got Chamberlain and Russell? Can it, doesn't it have to be Chamber one of them? No, it doesn't have to be one of them. It's my top five. <laughs> this, is an emotion, this is an emotional choice. Can I, can, can I like what I like? Yes, you sir. can you know, do that. Yes, I like you apples can. and you like oranges? Well, have an orange. But, but again, <laughs> he's, he's qualified this by saying yes. these were his five favorite players when he was a teenager, right. correct? I mean, th those They were the five best in the game, you know, and when top five discussions come up, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore comes up or whatever, I just step aside because I kind of eliminate myself from being an expert at this. You guys are the experts, quote well, unquote. Well, I, I think you are the expert. <laughs> so do I. You are the doctor. Okay, so give but us. But I'm going to be prejudiced. Okay, forget about your favorite players and give us your Mount Rushmore. And, and feel free to put the I, doctor on there. I, I try to stay out of that, that conversation. You, you don't want to? Yeah. Okay. I, I, think, I think there are two players who were completely unique in basketball history. Pete Maravich. He was, I agree. The present company. Okay. okay. And All right, much had to do that's with fair. the route and what yeah. I took, you know, which was leaving school early, two years in Virginia, yeah. yep. three years in Long Island, going back to the hometown. Hint, hint. <laughs> it's yes. a good right. thing to do going back to your hometown. Right. You know, because you can make a difference in your community. Right. And the three years with the Nets, with a couple of championships there, and with the economic private-public partnerships that we've done in Long Island continuously since that time, you know, going back home was great. So I definitely empathize with well, LeBron. Going, yeah, with LeBron that's where we're going, going back home. There. Yeah. Right. Can, what do you think can about totally that? relate to it. Yeah. It's not the first time it's happened. A lot of guys are going back home. Okay. So it's not the first time, but it's the biggest story because social media and the fact that, you know, the times in which we live. I mean, everybody's business is in the street. Mm. Yes. So um, what were we? What okay. do you feel? Go ahead, go ahead. Let me ask, before ahead, we okay. leave this behind, okay. just give us your perspective so, so that I don't think that the doctor needs a doctor on this, okay? <laughs> on Michael Jordan, just your yes. view of Michael's career. Just put it in some wide-ranging perspective from okay. your eyes. Okay. Uh, Michael, Michael probably won't replace Bill Russell as the greatest champion because nobody's oh, going to do that. 11, he yeah, won 11. 11 rings. Yeah. Sam won 10. You know, Sat Sanders won 8. Mm -hmm. John Havlicek won 8. So every time they throw the ring conversation out there, why do you leave these guys out? Mm. You know, how can you not acknowledge 11 out of 13 uh, championships? Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it modern era versus the initial uh, era of basketball or the second era of basketball? I think even Mike and had you know, a number of championships. So Michael, uh, Michael caught it at the right time. And he's sort of the greatest, like Ali, 
you know, I've declared such and thing, such certain things, and I validated. Hmm. And 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 what he did against the guys who he did it against, you know, that was probably the most competitive era in the history of basketball. Much more competitive than present, and maybe during Russell's time when it was eight teams. And then, I mean, when I came into uh, pro basketball, there were 14 NBA teams, and there were nine ABA teams. So now there's 30. It should be more competitive, but the actuality is it's probably more diluted. Mm. So different eras create different scenarios in people's minds, but fact is fact. So don't say Michael's the greatest because of six rings or Robert Ory is the greatest because of seven rings. Don't, don't make that the only criteria. Okay, what if you forget about the rings? Who's the greatest player? I go back to my favorites mm -hmm. once again. I got two favorites. You want to know? Yes. yes. Who would I pay to see? Yeah. Tiny Archibald. Mm. George Gervin. Okay. Woo. The Iceman. That's it. Yep. I'll go in my pocket, shell out dough to see those guys play.